Have you ever had a problem with a Danfoss valve that will either not open or close? This video will demonstrate how to easily repair the Danfoss water valve. Cleaning this valve can reduce your maintenance costs and reduce your downtime. First, disconnect power and shut off the water going to the washer. To eliminate excess water pressure, disconnect the water hose on the back of the washer. Remove the top cover on the washer. You might have to unlock it. Locate the valve that you want to clean. Remove the nut that holds a valve coil to the valve. Slide the coil off the coil stem and set aside. Use a 4mm Allen wrench to remove the bolts that secure the top of the valve to the valve body. Remove the diaphragm, spring, and rubber o-ring seal that covers the pilot orifice. Be careful not to drop any parts into the washer. Verify the diaphragm is not cracked and that the hole in the diaphragm is not clogged. Use a T10 Torx wrench to remove the two screws that hold the coil stem to the valve top. Set aside parts. Use a small wire or compressed air to clean the pilot orifice. Air will come out of the back of the valve top. When your valve does not close, many times the pilot orifice will have debris in it. Clean and remove any foreign objects on all the valve parts. Rinse with water. If there is corrosion on any parts, clean accordingly. Reinstall the plunger into the valve stem and secure it back to the valve top. The spring on the valve stem will be facing up. Reinstall the rubber diaphragm with the equalizing orifice on the valve. The concave part of the diaphragm will face out. Place the spring on top of the diaphragm with the wide end of the spring centered on the diaphragm. Reinstall the o-ring seal on the pilot orifice opening on the valve body. Reinstall the valve body on top of the valve. Secure with four bolts. Replace the coil on the valve stem and secure with the nut.
Remove the filter from the gray adapters connected to the valve ports on the back of the washer and clean with water. These filters are critical to keeping your valves clean and functional. Reconnect the water hose. Open the water valve and turn back on the power. Function test the valve and make sure there are no leaks. 